What do we have here, man? We got Chicago's most notorious gangster girls. First up, we got Jayla Gonzalez, man. Jayla Gonzalez was born 3 7 2000. Her ass is a Pisces. She crazy. 5'7", 128 pounds, and she's skinny. That's not good. She got Karen tattooed with a six, six five-pointed stars on her left forearm and five hearts. I don't know what that is at all. On her left, she got Heaven and Tiffany. She got tattooed on her shoulder. Uh, she got some footprints, um, thotty tattoos. On her foot, man, she got Jemiah, a uni tattoo. What's that? I, I don't know what that is. On her left arm, she got Jarrell and Steve Cunningham Jr. Man, she got the whole hood tattered on her, man, with a spider tattooed on her right hand. That means she's dangerous, man. I don't know. She might be in the Aryan Sisterhood or something, because I thought that was a... I thought that was a tattoo for like a biker gang or something like that. But anyways, man, she looks she looks like one of those people kind of sweet, but kind of dangerous at the same time. Man, those eyebrows are not just in agreement with what I want to see. They look they they don't look good. But I will say this with a little bit of makeup, which I am not a fan of. She might look like something, man. She 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 got the she got the uh the Shirley Temple, uh, little braids in the back. I don't even know if that's the right person I'm thinking of. But anyways, man, she got four years for aggravated discharge of a firearm, man. What is up with you? You out here shooting at folks for no reason with your confused tattoos and your jacked up eyebrows, man. What do you have going on in your life? Really, to be honest, she looked like she could bake some good cookies with that collar. But let's go to the next crazy mother. Okay, so we got Miranda Jackson, man. I mean, Johnson. Miranda Johnson, she, again, she looks like one of those people that at some point in her life, she looked like she could, you know, be about something. But mm, she's not, bro. Her ass is crazy, man. She was born 3 6, Mafia. 1995, man. What that means? She's a Pisces too. What's up with y'all Pisces, man? She kind of thick. I'm not gonna lie. She's biracial, black and white. Uh, five five. Uh, free C Mac. 176 of them things. Now she got some t- some some thotty tattoos, but she is a drunkard, bro. Her ass was out there driving in Mid Henry County, one of them suburb girls, man. And she she messed around and accidentally, you know, uh, deleted her something, man. Now, at the end of the day, of course, this is one of the many, many reasons why I had to stop drinking because this person, I don't even know how old she is. She's not getting out to 2030 something, man. And look at her smirking, bro. She probably cursed out the judge and did some weird stuff with her Riddler looking eyes, with her Joker half, half, half Joker half Riddler face. I mean, not Riddler, but she does look like she's on Riddler. Anyway, let's go to the next lady, man. What y'all got going on? We got Anahi. Perez, man, uh, Nahi Perez, man, she is no joke, man, she kind of, I'm not gonna lie, she is kind of <clears throat> ugly in the face, but I bet you she has a beautiful smile, probably, now she got aggravated battery discharge of a firearm, what does that mean, she a shooter, listening to all that damn Chief Keef, man, messed around and got 12 years, you supposed to be keeping it 300 and you got 1200 years in the penitentiary, man, she had her ears pierced, she's smart, she got a navel pierced, she don't have no tattoos, nothing, nothing that's gonna give her away or make her look any different than any other person, besides the fact that she looks like Andre the Giant in the face, nobody's gonna know it's her, if anything should happen, if she should be involved in any crimes or anything like that, you know, she's smooth. She's not like all the rest of these girls getting neck tattoos and hand tattoos and getting the whole block branded on their body for the rest of their lives. Man, she's smart. She's just not cute. Okay, next, man, we got Tia Tia Bobia. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Everybody knows I got a fetish, man. And now we got Gregoria Perez, man. She is thick, okay? Do you hear me? Touch your neighbor and say thickness. 5'1", 165 pounds. She's an old thing, man. She was born in 1986. She about to be 40 if she's not 40 now. And I forgot her charges, man. She got 23 years for aggravated battery. 
of a child. Now, that's a little disheartening, a lot of disheartening, because mm, I would, I was, I'm, I'm not going to lie, bro. She, I would leave it in her. But luckily, because I was just in Chicago, I didn't run across her and I didn't leave it in her because she can't be trusted around children, which that's no bueno. That's not good. If you don't know Spanish, that means not good. Okay, that's enough, man. I don't know what's... Okay, you trying to... Uh, I remember what I was trying to do. I was trying to look up the whole thing, and it is pretty jacked up what what went on in her case now. Now, okay, yeah, we got Kendria. She got that black-ass name, Perez Martinez. I'm not going to lie, dog. She been winning. Yeah. But anyways, man, look at she got the face tattoo. She got the piercing. She looks crazy, but I'm not going to lie. She look like she could hook up some steak. Somebody say steak. Now, again, we got another Pisces. What is going on with y'all, man? 1994, thick as hell, man. Five, one, 204 of them things. She might just be fat, though. But I do know she got a fat ass gun tattooed on her right wrist. Crazy. All them piercings, like I said, man. She got La Vida Es Corta. I don't know what that means. And I don't want to know. Uh, I see the M is also tattooed on her, man. She got in 11 16, 2023. Her ass is not going home until 2028. She already got parole in 2021 what this mother okay anyways from what i could see man she's a menace man she got manufacturing delivery of fenty in winnebago county which is uh aurora and then she went all the way down to kane county and her ass got aggravated whatever with a gun but uh yeah now let's travel man to kankakee this chick is crazy, man. The Tia, remember I said that looked bad? Now she's fat right here because she was outside, man, eating all them tortas. Her ass is doing deleting children, man. Now, Miss Perez was 29 years old, sentenced to 23 years after pleading guilty to deleting her 13 month old daughter in February 2010. That was a long time ago, man. She was originally charged with that big end, but she pled to a lesser charge, aggravated battery to that person man her daughter alma perez was discovered unresponsive in her crib by police in a home in the 500 block of south chicago avenue about 3 p.m on february 19th right after valentine's day her ass thinking nothing for valentine's day took it on the baby damn she was pronounced deceased at a local hospital and autopsy determined that she was hit in the head and was suffocated what a monster man burn her bro Perez allegedly told investigators she did hit the girl in the head and placed her hand over her mouth. Reading from a police report, First Assistant State Attorney Bill Dickinson said the reporting officer noticed something unusual about the defendant's behavior. She was not crying and not emotional. One week earlier, <clears throat> Department of Child and Family Services re received a call from the babysitter alleging a bruise. DCFS said it was is first involvement with Perez. It, DCFS said it was its first involvement with Perez. It's unclear whether what became of that investigation. Perez must serve 85% of the sentence and will get credit for six plus years she has been jailed. It is one of the longer ongoing cases of its kind at the Kankakee County Courthouse. Upon her release from prison, Perez will be deported. Psh, wow. That's all. Perez speaks little English. Copies of her initial questioning by police had to be translated for attorneys. An interpreter was needed when she appeared for her court dates or talking with her attorney. Public defender said in a case mm -hmm. of this magnitude, the language barrier and psychological evaluations were two reasons the case took so long. During today's Tuesday's, excuse me, sentencing, Dickinson told the court that two doctors determined that she suffered from postpartum depression. She told investigators she became overwhelmed with raising Alma. Perez is also the mother of a now nine-year-old daughter. Regis was not sure where she now lives. 
that is sad. That is sick and sad. The fact that she doesn't know where, well, what's, what's the dude? Robert. Robert Reyes, the attorney, the public offender, the, fu- the public defender. Of course, he's not going to do his due diligence as far as researching this this other child. Um, wherever that child is, man, hopefully, you know, she's safe. But this is, you got to be careful with who you guys have children with, man, because this chick is 29 years old. She had her first baby at 20. She probably didn't have too much of a life, man. She came over here. She thought it was going to be all glitter and gold, but she ended up getting pregnant by one of these Chicago niggas, probably one of the Chicago savages, probably one of the Chicago shooters. Who knows where the baby daddy is, bro? She was feeling overwhelmed. She didn't have any family to call up on. She could have took the baby to the baby daddy's family's house or anything like that. I'm not knowing what's going on. I'm just speculating, bro. So you got to be very careful who you inject your fluids into. And all I can really say, man, all we can say is, man, prayers up for that baby. So it's Aaron Moses. I'm the bang, you the bang, we the bang together, man. Life's in the breath. Breathe it in, take care of your family, protect yourself, take care of your mental health. Peace.